Hey, what's up? My name is Jason Kimbrough and the pastor of NLC Fayetteville coming at ya. I feel like there should be some intro music there or something. I don't know. Today's We're going to be looking at Romans 12, verse 2. I'm going to read out the ESV. Uh, Paul writes a letter to the church at Rome, and he says this. Check this out. He says, Do not be conformed to this world, but, by, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. I just want to break this down just for a few minutes. Uh, first, there's a, immediately a command uh, to obey. It says, do not be conformed. Uh, to be conformed, to conform to something is to shape, um, to shape one thing like another. It's like a passive reflex. It's like a passive response to something. And so when we conform to things, we, we just go along with it. We just do what they're doing. We're shaped by whatever someone else is doing or what the world does. It says, do not be conformed to this world. Uh, some translations say, do not be conformed to the pattern of this world. Um, well, what are the patterns of this world? I can think of a few. Uh, mainly, there's a pattern in this world to drift away from God. I mean, to drift away from things that are godly. To drift away from truth. Like, there's no, there's no real truth. Everything's kind of gray. Um, it's just follow your heart. Do what you feel. What's, whatever God means to you. There's a pattern to drift uh, away from God, away from truth, away from Jesus. It's like, well, Jesus was cool. Jesus was a good teacher. Jesus was my homeboy. But uh, no, Jesus was our God. He died and he rose again. There's a temptation to drift away from relying on God. We tend to rely on ourselves. And so there's so many things that we can conform to, that we can conform to the patterns of this world. But it says this. It says to be transformed, which is another command, to be transformed. I know a lot of you are old enough to remember uh, the show Transformers, and then they've made uh, some horrible movies um, recently. But to be transformed, what that means is to change into another form. So don't be conformed to the pattern of this world. Be transformed. So instead of uh, being shaped by something else, uh, to be transformed is to be sh changed into another form, which that's not into a better version of ourselves. We're not, don't be transformed or changed into just a better version of Jason but really to be transformed into the image of Jesus and to be like Christ. So we are supposed to not conform to the world, the patterns of the world, but to be transformed into Jesus. Think, uh, think about uh, the word transform comes from the word metamorphosis. So think caterpillar changing into butterfly. And then it says, so it says, do not be conformed to the pattern of this world or to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. The renewal of your mind. How are we transformed? By something that happens up here. Some of you like to remodel houses or restore old things. And when you renew something, when you renovate something, you make it new again. And so Paul is telling the church at Rome, he says, you need to make your mind new constantly. You need to constantly renew your mind. Well, how do you do that? I want to give you a few application points on how you can renew your mind. First, you need to feed your mind truth. I mean, feed your mind truth. You need to eat. You need to absorb the truth of God. You got to also have to free your mind from toxic thoughts. You got to take your thoughts captive. Any toxic thoughts, get them out of there. And then we have to focus our mind. Focus our mind on heaven. Colossians 3, 2 said, set your mind on the things above. So we have to think about eternal things. We have to remember what's really important. So we renew our minds. And then in the, the promise to claim is that we'll be able to discern the will of God. And I know that so many of us, we, we crave to desire the will of God. And uh, I'm saying the, the will of God is really what we need. It's what we want. We want his, his holy will. We want his good, acceptable will. I don't want anything that God doesn't want me to have. I want everything he wants for me. 
And if we can renew our minds, if we cannot conform, we can be transformed into the likeness of Jesus, we will actually be right in the middle of God's will. Love being with you today. We'll see you.